Hi everyone, I'm Johnny. In this video, we will learn about the new Google Sign-in page. As you already noticed, the page to sign into your Google account looks a little different, but still works the same way. Uh, what's the same, actually? The steps to sign-in haven't changed at all. You enter the same information you usually do, like your email address and password. You use your account to sign in securely to the same Google services as before. Why the page change it? The new sign-in page has a cleaner, simpler look, makes the sign-in process faster and is consistent across computers, phones and tablets. Where the change happened? The new sign-in page shows up on computers, phones and tablets. You will see it when you sign into a Google app or a Google service on a browser like Chrome. And you might still see the old sign-in page in cases that you use an older version of a browser or you've turned off JavaScript. That is all about uh, changes on a visual uh, look of new uh, Google sign-in page. So uh, let's pay attention on more options button. In case that you forgot your email, you will click forgot email link and it will take you uh, to the place where you can uh, enter recovery uh, email address or phone number associated with, your, uh, with that email actually which you forgot. Uh, to help you uh, figure out uh, what was your username. Uh, in case that you want to create new account, here is the link to create new account. And to sign in temporarily on a computer, phone or tablet that doesn't belong to you, you will need to use a private browsing window. That's why here is not your device link. Uh, which will take you to the help article uh, where you can learn more about uh, incognito window and uh, private browsing. So uh, if you sign in on a device that's used by other people, you need to follow some steps and that way uh, others won't be able to use your Google account, find out what searches you did or sites you visited, and see that your account was signed in. Uh, to make sure that no one uh, will not be able to see uh, what you was doing uh, on a browser, uh, you need to uh, open a browser, for example a Chrome, then uh, click right click uh, on uh, browser's icon and select new incognito window. Uh, then uh, actually new private window will open and uh, you can go to uh, www.google.com and sign in to your account. When you are done using the BAB, your Gmail or any other Google service, uh, you need to cl uh, close all private windows or just sign out. To sign out, uh, you can go directly to uh, www.google.com and in the top right corner, select your profile image, initial or email address, and simply click sign out. Uh, okay, so uh, to sign into our account, now we have uh, two options. In case uh, that we've added a recovery phone number, uh, to our account, uh, then in that case we can use uh, our email address or recovery phone number and password to sign in to our account. Uh, first I will sign in uh, using my email address and uh, my password. Okay, my password is already here because my browser uh, remember it. Uh, in case that you forgot your password, this link uh, will take you to uh, account recovery form uh, where you can uh, attempt to recover your account. Uh, so to log in, uh, 
just click next and now I'm logged in to my uh, primary uh, Gmail account uh, you may be wondering uh, why I'm not having any email here since I have a lot of important emails I moved it to a, a new uh, folder just for uh, for this cause because uh, I cannot afford uh, that any email or uh, any contact uh, could be cached uh, from uh, by uh, some viewer so uh, I had to remove it uh, and now uh, I will sign out and uh, sign in with a phone number and my password okay uh, here is one important thing uh, first time you signed in uh, to your account, a uh, new sign-in page automatically remembered your account and uh, put it here. So, in case that you want to use another account, uh, you need to click this little down arrow and uh, click use another account. Uh, also, here is the option uh, remove an account. When you click on it, just click this X and confirm that you will remove uh, actually your current email address from uh, this browser. Uh, and uh, when you are ready to sign in again, uh, just uh, enter your uh, email address again and your password. But this time I will enter my uh, phone number. and uh, my current password since this phone number is my recovery phone number and that's why I can use it to uh, sign into my account okay it was uh, very easy uh, so now uh, again I will uh, sign out And uh, once again, if you want to uh, sign in with uh, other account, just click this uh, uh, down arrow and uh, use another account and uh, then uh, enter another account, uh, another email address or recovery phone number and your password to uh, sign in to other uh, account. Uh, that would be all for uh, this video. Feel free to leave me a feedback in the comments below and if you want to see more videos related to Google products, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. Peace out.